right, guys, so here we are outside the, uh, the sugar camp. And again, this is uh, a small operation, just a family run deal here at the Legacy Farm. And uh... sugar maple's got the nice curves on it all up through here like this. Right. And then your red maple's gonna have jagged edges. There's a couple different types of maples you can get there, but you're gonna get your better syrup much better out of this. So is there is there any syrup though in the other kinds of maples? I, so yeah, I, it, it's still run I think, but just not not very much. Not very or much. Or as good. Not as sweet maybe? Or yeah, maybe that's I guess. That's obviously but... why they call them sugar maple. So this one obviously right isn't here. from a sugar maple because it has the jagged edges and then yeah. this one's got the more rounded leaves. So the leaves and the bark are your telltale signs. Yeah. We're looking for sugar maples obviously to tap um, for the maple syrup. You said that the, it's about 40 to 1, roughly, what you yeah, get from... 40 uh, gallons of sap give you a gallon of syrup usually. So. so 40 gallons of sap in these cans will end up with about a gallon of syrup once uh, once we're all done with the boiling process. And how many taps do you run? 300. 300 taps. Yeah. So... Just enough for a hobby. Just enough for a hobby. 300 is a hobby? Sure. Okay. So what would a big uh, what would a big sugary run? Oh, some of them would have thousands of taps for sure, and pipeline and pipeline and the, and the whole deal. Yeah. And, so they would constantly be feeding into their sugary with the pipes. Constantly, they'd have gathering tanks. They'd go around and get them after they get so full, and uh, you're not losing any that way. You're not losing anything from overflowing cans or anything. So. Right. Now you got you have lids on them just that just to keep the snow and the rain out. So that, yeah. Just yeah. So that they. Uh, only Helps you boil down a little quicker because yeah. you get a half full of rain. Okay, half full of rain, and then you just got to boil the water <laughs> off, right? Yeah. You guys, you do, do you gather in the buckets or do you gather in a big tank? We'll gather in the buckets and dump it into a tank on the tractor, and then and bring, then and then bring it back up to bring the sugar it back camp. To the sugary, yeah. All right. Well, so this is basically what you'd consider a hobby, right? And how many gallons of syrup would you do in the run of a year? Uh, this year we'll probably end up with about 20 gallons of syrup, I would think. All right, so here's Elliot. He's gonna collect us some some sap off the tree. So just take the cover off the, the bin, slide it, slide it toward you this way, like this way. Slide it that way. There you go. Now set that on the ground, nice and easy. All right. Now, how much sap's in that bucket? Check it out. A lot. Is there a lot in there? Oh yeah. All right. Good stuff. Okay, so very carefully, you see where it's hooked on the tree right here? Yeah. Okay. Hop down off that rock so you don't fall asleep. Okay. Can you lift that off the little hook? Oh, good job. All right, now <laughs> you got a bucket full of sap. Now, we're gonna try to dump it. We're gonna pour it into that bin without getting it all over us. All right, pour it into the big bucket. You get it all in there? Nice job. All right, now let's see. You see our uh, this spire, this little spigot thing in the tree? Mm -hmm. It's still dripping some, so let's hook the bucket back on the hook. You wanna go do another one? Sure, there's one right, actually there's two on this tree. All right, we're doing another one. Pull her off. Okay, how much sap's in that one? Oh, not, not as, as much. Not as much in that one. That's all right. Good job, you might get hired. set that other pail underneath it to see how full it would be and that one's almost clear full so it filled two cans but this so, one wasn't running at all the yeah, tree right that's beside clear, it that, watch out that's clear full Elliot that's overflowing oh. Holy yeah. 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 So this clear, is running, clear full and you can see how much that's dripping right there look how fast my, that's dripping that's almost like a tap so they get into a main vein there somewhere yeah yeah so you see the sap a little darker now Stop getting darker. Yeah, we're gonna get up a darker syrup and get a more robust maple taste as it gets a little darker. Is that because it's later in the season? Yeah. So you say the season's pretty much done here, right? This is uh, April 13th, and uh, season's pretty much over at this point. Is that weather dependent, or is that basically just yeah. weather dependent for sure for your run? But then once the trees start to bud, then you're done anyway, right? What happens once yeah. the trees bud? Sap uh, gets bitter. Yeah, it gets really bad. So. All right. Hey. 
this one has some more stuff in it. Yeah, you can dump it. This is the last. Uh, this is the last of the season for this uh, sugary, okay. and we're picking up pails and we're gonna pull spiles. Now that Elliot's got some of the sap dumped out of these ones, we're gonna. They just uh, they just pull out apparently. Well, hey, that's what they say. Oh sure, he said they just pull out and then I can't pull it out of the tree. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> if you can pull this one out on this side, we're. <laughs> You tap them in with a hammer, or just just push them yeah, in. You tap them into the hammer. Oh, see, yeah, see that he just pulled that out there. I, I tried gloves. That. Couldn't that's do it. That's oh, why yeah. I got gloves. It's the gloves. <laughs> Is it worth your time and effort, Peter? It's a hobby. So it's one of those kind of like trapping or hunting yeah, or anything just like else. Just like trapping, absolutely. Right? Just like yeah. trapping. Yeah. yeah. If you don't love to do it, then don't start. That's just about it. Yeah. You can always start with some in your front yard or whatever, but to get into a system where it's going to cost you thousands to do. Yeah, that evaporator in there is fairly expensive, and yeah. you're not going to make you're not going to make much money on it. Long time. I mean, you either it's kind of like a farm, right? You either got to go a humongous, big, all-out investment, or just dabble away at it in order to. Yeah, a lot of people just just do some stuff and just boil outside over an open right. fire type thing. And just enough for them themselves yeah. or family or whatever, and, yeah. but. If you added all your time and all your all your work and everything else every year, it's yeah, then I it's exactly like chopping. You're I don't going. Think you're, coming ahead. <laughs> yeah. you're making three cents an hour. That's about it. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. But you like to do it, right? And it's a family Absolutely. thing. It's a family thing. It's a family thing. I don't know what we do in the spring without doing this. How long has the how long has your clan been doing this? Luke's what? been Luke's fourth generation. So, so okay, so Luke Luke's the fourth generation to run this camp and do these trees and, and so it would have been five generations because there was we skipped one there because luke got it from his grandfather right so, right anyway so it would, it would have been five so there was there was luke and then and daryl before luke and then before daryl was raymond raymond and before raymond was raymond's dad <laughs> So how long season the would it run? You say we're pretty much done now. We got about a month this year. You got about a month? And that, is that typical for most years, or uh, that's just because we had a weird winter? Just a different winter. We thought it was going to be a little bit better with the amount of snow we had, but right. it's all weather, right? It's so, all weather dependent, yeah. hot versus cold yeah. versus... We still got a lot of snow, but the trees are going to bud here this weekend, probably. They're ready to sprout now. So. And then once the trees bud, we're done. And there's not freezing at night anymore, so... So it helps to freeze at night and then thaw in the morning, and that has, causes sap. Yeah, it has out. to. Okay. Expansion, contraction. So. All right. So if you don't get uh, if you don't get that cold freeze up at night, then you don't get any run in the morning. All right. Well, let's uh, let's head on up to the sugar camp up there and let's see what the the boiling process looks like. So this is your raw sap going into this holding tank, awesome. and then from the holding tank through that valve to the holding tank on the side of the sugar. Oh, all right, that makes sense. Luke's maple syrup. That's what his label say. That's what his label say, Luke's maple syrup. Where it looks like a